Alrighty, chat. With that, we have arrived at the end of our anniversary stream, which means now we are shifting directly into our uncapped subathon. Let me take a look. We are currently at 200. And nine total gifted subs today, y'all. Fucking amazing. It's not quite enough to hit our final milestone, but you all have locked me in for well over 12 hours from this point forward. Meaning, starting at 5 p.m., which we're about to hit, I will have to hang out with y'all until, what, 5 a.m.? tomorrow so that's going to be very very exciting now we watch the viewer count plummet understandable after ass if anything i'm going to be a little <laughs> excited to get back to back to the hey, real homies a hey, kind hey, thank you for the fucking gifted sub kind my boy all right a lot could still happen in 12 hours exactly 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 what the hell was what marcy but all right, y'all. So I do need to piss. So I'm actually going to pop out for two minutes. I'm going to piss. Give me something to drink. Find a little snack to just kind of have on hand in case of emergencies. I'm going to check in with my mom. And then we will go ahead and get started with the first game of the evening. Well, actually, we're going to do something before that, aren't we? Because y'all will have earned your first ever point break. We will calculate out who has points and how many points everyone has. But I'm going to say, Wacko, Folan, Sour, and Hall. If you guys are out there at a glance, y'all motherfuckers got some points to spend. So we'll see how you all are doing as soon as I come back in just two minutes, y'all. I hope you all will stick around and we can have some more fun until I die of exhaustion. I'll be right on back, y'all. then y'all how are we all do a hey, milk coming in with a raid of 12 people fucking hell yeah you think we could find Eric lives before the end of the stream god do not track me down in the middle of this marcy oh god i just called my dad to wish him a happy veterans day how y'all doing hell yeah Galeric. everybody if you can wish a happy veterans day if anybody in your family is fucking get that and go we have come oh darnes just for me exciting oh for milk blade okay sphinx hey milk blade i just wanted to say um for hanging out with me today ara ara <laughs> Geocaching, but Eric is the cache. Aww. Let's see here. Alrighty then. We're going to go ahead and take a look at my page. And we are going to knock some of these checks on out here. So let's get this kind of organized for me. So I see we have some gifts from V, from Little Pink, uh, Nolpo. 
So right now, what we are doing is a point break. This is a break in the show where we are going to be calculating who has earned points from gifting subs, how many points they have earned, and seeing whether they want to spend those points to buy a permanent change to the channel, creating new sound effects for different redeems and events exactly for you guys. I got the Ara Ara, and milk goes for a smooch top tier redeems. Hell yeah. Let's see our Chopin. Uh, let's see here. What is that? Ara Nook? Dow? Kupo? Paul Frost? Wacko. Let's see your kind. Sticks. Sphinx. I see Lotus. Sour. Lotus Sour. Tree Stalker. Wacko, 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 another Chopin, Folin, Folin. So that looks like everyone so far. How exactly do we read the table in the bottom right? That's what we're doing right now, Zia Z. So we're going to be having a point break every two hours where we will be checking up on subs and the like. For every five subs someone has gifted, they'll earn themselves one point that they can spend to buy something from the board. On the board, you are changing the sound effects for different events, redeems, and things that can happen on the channel. For one point, you can buy a specific number of gifted subs. If you want something really common, you can go one, two, three gifted subs, and you get to pick a new sound effect for that, or you can record your own sound effect if you would like me to replace it with your own little message. Same thing for a specific number of months that someone has resubbed. For two points, you can instead go for a specific number of years or when someone gifts a specific number of bits. At three points, you get to replace our raid sound effect with something new or pick the new sound effect for our nice redeem. At four points spent, you can go ahead and create a sound effect for our VIP redeem or you can gift VIP status to someone else. Also, I just realized I got a gift sub from Sour, which is super kind. Hell yeah, Sean. At five points, you get to pick a costume change sound effect. And at six, you get to decide a brand new sound redeem to be included for points on the channel from this stage onwards that anyone can cause to happen at any time point at all slowly but surely i'm getting to vip nearly 33k now hey galeric you might be able to ask someone to get it for you because today is the only day i will allow people to gift vip status to someone else so let's go ahead and take a look and i'm gonna go ahead and knock out the wacko page because this is pretty ridiculous so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm seeing 25. Hey, Sean, thank you. And we'll get you on the list now. It's 43. Okay, I might be missing a bigger chunk you dropped. 25, 26, 27. Let's see. Uh, are you just on the list? Yeah. So I'll just go to the list for a few of you. So Folan, I can grab real easy. So Folan, Sour, and Wacko. Gonna be easy fucking boys. So let's see here. Folan at 75 is going to be... Damn, bruh. That's... What? So 15 points for Folan. At Sour, you have 10 points. And at Wacko, you have... 7? Would be 35, 8 points so far. So was that? 8.6. All right. Hmm. 
Now, let's take a look. Little Pink, I think you have gifted only one so far. Do I have a way? Hey, yo, Twitch, you willing to just pull it up for me? You willing to let me just kind of filter? Let's just let's just look at gifted subs for a second. Just show me the gifted sub list. And then can I filter it by people? No, I cannot. At least not there. Unfortunate. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Yep, I got the longer list now. So Hellfrost at 20 gifted subs. That is going to be four points. Chopin's at six. You have one. Aranook at five. You have one. And V at five, you have one. Everyone else, I am afraid, is below one point at this stage. So, V, Chopin's, Aranook, Hallfrost, Wacko, Sour, and Folin. You all have points to spend. My question is, how many will we get this stream? Uh, after us, that depends entirely on how many subs you gift. If you gift five subs, you earn a point. <laughs> Are we finally going to be able to start the VIP wars? We will have to see. So we will go ahead and start with our leader, Folin. Are you here? Let's see. I'm going to do a quick at, see if he's even out there at all. So I know you're in chat, though you might be away right now. So I'll give you a minute. Folin, you are currently sitting at 15 points. And you get to make your first purchase. If you are out there and have something you want to go ahead and start us off with buying, you can get anything off the list that you want at 15. All right. It looks like Fullen might be away right at this particular moment. So I'll have to resolve that with him later. So next on the list, next lowest, Sour at 10 points. You can also buy any one thing off the list. I'm offering my body or for VIP, my cock, pussy, and mouth already. Oh, God darn ass. Listen, you just got to gift some subs if you want to go it that way, my dude. Sour, would you like to spend four of your points to gift Darnes VIP? If you could just confirm that for me. Poland isn't in the viewer list. Understandable. I'll be able to DM him if he ends up not being here at any other part in the stream. But we'll see. Nah? All right. So what's your purchase, Sour? I unfortunately need to sleep, so see you in the morning. All right, Terramon. Get yourself some sleep. I am poor. I literally don't have money. I'm sorry, darn ass. You'll just have to earn points then. And I mean, like, channel points to get it. <laughs> All right, Sour, I know you're there, so this is your chance to spend some points. Going to give you another minute to make a decision. If not, we're going to keep moving down the list so we can get into some gaming. Can I hoard my points? You absolutely can, Sour. But I'm going to say, at 10 points, while you can hoard more, right now you could buy anything off the list. Can someone spend two points to give me the other half of points? For no, Galeric, that's not how that works. But if you would like to pass, Sour, I'm good to let you pass for now. All right. While Sour is thinking about it, Wacko, Dan Zacko, are you out there? Because you have eight points that you can spend. I might just not buy anything ever. That would be funny, I think. All right. Wacko. Glaric gets VIP. All right, Wacko. Minus four points. You are now at 4.6 points. As Galeric gets VIP status. Let's see. Let's make sure I grab his name exactly. All right. So VIP, one true Galeric. Congratulations, Galeric. 
you now have VIP status. After that, Hal Frost, if you are out there, you got a minute to make your own purchase. You currently have four points available, so you can get anything you want from the four all the way up to the one. I don't think Hal Frost is still kind of hanging out with us right now, so we'll likely be moving on pretty quick on him. But I'm going to give another minute to see if he's got a response, anything he wants. You better promote them in the Discord. All right, I'll promote them in the Discord. If at the end of that, we still haven't heard from Hal, that'll be our marker to move on. Let's see here. One true Galeric. Let's see here. Roles, personality. You should be good. Wacko also said, Marcy, hey, uh, Wacko, we're, we'll come back to you. You could do another purchase, but we go through the full list first, okay? All right, looks like nothing from Hal for now. Probably just a way. Uh, Ara Nook. Ara Nook, if you are still out there, you've got one point you can spend if you would like to. To pick a new redeem sound effect for a number of gifted subs or a month for gifted subs. Nah, give someone else their VIP. Darness seems quite desperate, thanks, though. Hey, we'll, we'll see, Marcy. We'll see how this goes. All right, it seems like nothing from Aranook. Chopin or Chupin, or however you want to pronounce that. You have one point to spend if you would like. I'm here to give my points to whoever has the most points. So that would be Folin, who's not hanging out. Chopin, if you're going to be here for a bit longer, we can see if you earn up any more points for now. But if you really want to give your one point away, if you want to name anyone on the list, which would be Folin, Sour, Wacko, Halfrost, Aranook, and V, I'm good to give your point to whoever you would like to. How many points for Tardusi or Mussy? <laughs> it depends. If you want to redeem where I say those words, that would be six points. Yeah, I'll wait. All right. Then finally, V, the sleepy bunny. You've got one point to spend if you would like, or you can hold on to it and see how the stream goes. And we'll give you two minutes to figure that on out. And once that's through, we can go back to you, Wacko. And if you would like to spend any more of your 4.6 points, we can knock that out. All right, looks like we might not have V with us. So, Wacko, we will roll back to you since you said you might have a second purchase you want to make. And this will be our last purchase for this point break, and then we will get on into it. Bye-bye. Love you all. See you around. All right. Good night, Marcy. Have yourself a good time. Ooh, five gift subs gets me reading the I've come to make an announcement from the Sonic Copy Pasta. All right, V. So you want, I've come to make an announcement for what? A specific month resub or a number of gifted subs? And if so, you got to pick the number. Eric really hitting the cum in that sentence. Hey, Sean, with you around, how could I avoid hitting the cum? Doesn't have to be the whole thing. Just the first line and five gifted subs. All right, V for five subs is the sonic announcement. I have that noted down, V. 
And if I get a good chance, I'll do that once things are maybe going a little slower on stream, or I will at least get it up before the next time I stream. I hope you're excited for that. I have that written down and locked in. Wacko, then, you're the last one we're waiting on. If you want to use your four points for anything, I'll give you two minutes to let me know. And after that, we will be moving on to our new dating sim that we're going to be playing, y'all. As we try to seduce some very interesting killers. Oh, damn, you just collecting VIPs, Galeric? Hell yeah. Someone could force Eric to do the boy smell copy pasta. For something that long, I might force you to do a six point. Because for most of these other ones, I want it pretty quick. But it would be good for the raid, I have to admit. Uh, crazy. We're not on a page with that feature. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm a bit at crossroads on this one. May need a while, so I guess I'll wait. All right. With that, we are good then, y'all. To return. Oh, shit. No. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, we can get rid of those fucking evolving sound effects. I don't need those anymore. We are evolved. All right, let's, yeah, that, that's a bit better. All right, let's see. How do I see how long I've been following? That is be the nice redeem, darn ass. Hell yeah. All right, crazy, crazy, it should work here. Drop it here. Come on, crazy. Score myself a hot stud. Hell yeah, crazy. Darn ass, thank you for the one year and six months, my guy. Nice. Did that play like seven times at once? Basically, V. I'm sorry about that. But all right, guys. With that, I think we are ready to hop on into Hook on You. Oh, that's, that's a little better. Let's see. We, maybe even a little... Yeah, there we go. God, those muscles. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I'm I'm fucking I'm, I'm Eric. Yeah, that one. Most of this chat is from the hot tub stream. Yeah, I I, I know where my chat comes from. Don't you worry, Dinas. Okay, wait. I just got back from grabbing a beer. What is this? We are playing Hooked on You. This is a dating sim based on the famous horror survival multiplayer game, Dead by Daylight. It is exciting to be finally able to play this. Hmm. <clears throat> Eric, if you want, you could pull some viewers for voices. Aw, oh, darn nass. I think we'll start off with me, but if y'all get really desperate to join, I'll, I'll think about it. Gonna have to get through my wine first, though. Also, holy shit, Eric, I just noticed you're an incredible tardy grade. Yeah! Made? All right, hold up. Let's see. We'll 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 get me we'll get me somewhere else. We'll put the PNG somewhere. Hold up. Let's see here. Here's the attorney closet. We'll put we'll put me over on uh you know, just on this side. We'll just We could we could get both up here. There you go. Nah nah, we're not going back. We're here. And we're chubby. <laughs> All right, one second. <clears throat> you wake up on the beach soaking wet. Salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name. 
but not where you came from, or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick. <coughs> wow. Really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute, or can I go on? Gonna head out, have a good rest of your stream. All right, Glaric. Well, we'll be live for quite a while, so we'll see if you can pop in before we finish up. I feel like a beach map should have been added to the main game after this released. Oh, definitely. There's about 10 different characters, including yourself. Hell yeah. Because I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Endless time. Really? An eternity. If you catch my drift. Oh, not now, Ocean. Sorry, Eric. May I continue? Please, go on. Okay, then. As I was... <laughs> As I was saying, you look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit a stream of dark bile Bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who's behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Oh, shit. Run, close your eyes, dig up that face! Who the fuck are you? You brush the sand away from the half-buried human head embedded in the ground before you. Oh! Yay! There is no body, just this head. As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin, sitting on the rotting tongue of this poor, dead soul. Sexy voice in your head, is that us? Yeah, that's you guys. Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You're a take charge type. You examine the cold coin briefly, happily distracted from what was otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. The sun beats down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose. And so you deposit it. Why is that a nice coin you've got there? What if you were to spend it right now? Full of dinner? Hell yeah, broadcast. What'd you get? What do you guys think? Do we wanna do we wanna spend this coin we just earned like right away? Like get something early to make use of, or do we need to uh do we need to build up a hoard? I'm curious. I'm curious what y'all think. Oh shit, text from my mom? Oh shit, dinner's here. Hold up, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a poll then, actually. You guys get a poll because I want to go get Din Din's. Yeah? What we do? Spend or hoard? Alright, I'll be back and we'll do our unboxing ep episode. Okay, vote, vote now.
Dinner time. We need more. Hell yeah. All right, y'all. Let me let me go ahead and paint you guys a word picture. All right, game. You gotta go quiet for a second, okay? There we go. All right, I got a big bag from my mom. DoorDash ripping off the uh, receipt so we don't see that shit. So that shit's a secret. What I can see right up the front. So we got ourselves a cheesecake factory bag. Now, obviously, that leaves some thoughts of, hey, maybe it's a cheesecake, but this is dinner. Might be a cheesecake included, but I highly doubt it. All right. Ooh, I'm smelling some sort of red sauce, I think. Like, not necessarily marinara, but, like, adjacent, I think. Maybe a tomato soup? Let's get... Oh, what are you? All right, I think I'm seeing some sort of fish stick. Bread. Oh, what is this? A rare New York steak. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we've got a steak, mashed potatoes, green beans and oh shit oh shit oh no hey nio hello and welcome oh shit i just realized i need to change some shit hold up your damn lemons what am i supposed to do with these thank you for the uh lemons i guess whatever these are how you doing nio what were you up to i am doing my subathon anniversary event and we are just swapping onto a new game here. Let's see if I can actually swap the fucking... Yeah, there we go. Update. There we go. Hey, Naya. How you doing? Boogs together strong. So, hello, everybody. I'm Eric. Yes, that one. I am a tardigrade. And the reason you're seeing two forms of me up right now is today's my uh, second year of streaming. And up until now, I have been a um, PNG tuber, but today my chat gifted me 150 subs. And so we did a reveal that I am now no longer PNG tuber. I am now VTuber. I now am pudgy and adorable and tardigrade. How are all of y'all doing? <laughs> is it legal to have that on screen in the bottom right during NNN? Hey, hey, someone wanted to see the maid outfit up here. So I had to do it. It was by request. He's adorable. Hell yeah, he is. All right, y'all. I got to put some of this away. I just got a uh, dinner shipped to me for my anniversary. So I'm going to need two seconds to put some of this away. And then we can come hang out and play the game a bit more. Finally, someone else who has more than six legs. Fake bug looking asses. Hell yeah, Nio. All right, I'll be right back. One second. <laughs> We are back, back, back. All right, y'all. So I actually just got my mom for my birthday, door dashed me some Cheesecake Factory, and got me a uh, rare steak, green beans, and mashed potatoes. So I got to take a second to take a bite out of some of this and then text her back, thank you. So give me two minutes, okay? Hmm. Happy birth, thank you. <laughs> so, so, congrats, y'all. Welcome to a mukbang with a VTuber. Holy shit. Alright. One bite of the steak. Then I'm gonna text my mom. And then we can get back into the dating sim. 
<laughs> All right, one second. Thank you. So much. Love you. Heart emoji. There we go. We can entertain ourselves while we eat. Also, Eric said if he goes partner, then the first merch he'll do is a cast of Tina. God damn it. You can't just drop that on people who just showed up, Sean. Fuck. Oh, God. All right. Hey, what was the result of the fucking poll? Hold up. Did I even see? Oh, shit. Did anyone see what the poll was? Yeah, no, I was making a joke when we had some people here, and I might be a little bit into wine, but I promised my chat if they really wanted it, if they ever got me to partner for merch, I would find one of those websites like uh, Cock Clone and get a, a cast to make dildos of my penis for chat. Because they deserved it. Result was Horde? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. No thanks. Look, I'm going to level with you here. That coin you found, it's mine. I dropped it yesterday, and I've been looking all over for it. Eric, what? Chat, ch chat, chat. It wasn't, it wasn't like out of nowhere, right? Someone, someone in chat requested if I would scan my penis so they could make a 3D model. And I said no, that was too weird for me. But I would be willing to make a mold and produce, you know, dildos after the shape of mine if Chad ever got me to partner. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of people who have like, hey, Chad, if we reach a certain goal, I'll do an OnlyFans or something like that. This feels, this feels even, even easier than doing an OnlyFans. <laughs> Because I don't have to take pictures. I could just have you guys... I'm fucking crying. Why is this so funny to me? I don't know. But no, 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 no. no, no. If I'm being true, though, I did eventually come to the realization that the one problem I do have with selling dildos of my penis is I do have some fucked up friends who like to do fucked up pranks. And my fear would never be a member of my chat having my penis and doing things with it my fear would be that a friend of mine as a prank would buy my penis and then perhaps as a sick joke give it to a member of my family and while i love you chat and chat you can have my cock at any time I would not feel comfortable with anyone giving it to my family. Hey, Golden God, thank you for the fucking gifted tier sub there, my guy. Congratulations, welcome, and thank you. For anyone who's curious, I have already been locked in for 12 hours of streaming because of gifted subs. So I will be here all night and well into the morning. Yeah, I know, Spectio, whoa, I know. He does love saying, chat, you can have my cock at any time. I'm gonna say it rolls off the tongue. It rolls off the tongue, Sean. Picture this, he gets partnered, he does it, you buy one, it arrives, it's tardy great size, and flies away with a gust of wind, never to be seen again. Oh, fuck. Could you just give it back? No, we're keeping this. No. Be that way, then. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something soft bump into your foot. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down, frozen, 
as a voice calls to you from behind. Little help, please. You turn around and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground. Wilson! Exactly, Daysing, exactly. Oh, damn, no, no, fuck. The muscles, though. Nah, go back to the muscle, mommy. Hold up. Oh. Hey, Trapper. Damn. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. God damn is right, Sour. Oh, no. They're hot! <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I could have a quick bite, but then I took like a quarter of the steak came away where I cut and it was too much. It was too much for me to quickly move back in. By the way, I got Citizen Sleeper and I'm having a blast. Hell yeah, Golden God. If you end up really enjoying Citizen Sleeper, I would actually like to recommend a game I haven't played on stream then. I recommend looking up I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. It's much longer form. It's a lot more specific. But if you're really choking on dick, god damn it, Golden God. But if you're really enjoying Citizen Sleeper, I think you'll like it. Oh. Oofy doofy, <laughs> hell yeah. Muscle bunny lady, yes please, exactly. <clears throat> Each of them oozes with undead energy. A magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity. Fear. Desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed. Let's call them killers. Not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once. That you are completely... Paralyzed. Hello. There are weird days. And then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous lineup of, well, literal monsters. Sexy ass monsters. What do you do? Oh, hell yeah. You bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. <laughs> Big hat girl, please smother me in your chest. Oh, chat. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in the huntress's hands. Not bad, stranger. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. You look her up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Try hard much? Huh. They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. Made Eric was copping a feel of Trapper's nuts. Y'all can only dream of that. Oh, hell yeah. The guy on the left has style, in which I had. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion into their private beach. 
Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? I did refer to them as killers. Not to give too much away. But at the same time, damn, they are looking very appealing in their own way. And nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, Eric. You were made for this. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. They looked heavy, so Eric Maid is helping. Ah, oh, fuck y'all. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the volleyball game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best to just go with what Trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who always seems to have fresh blood on their hands. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's the deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more than to distract from my TOTAL DOMINATION? <sighs> that was Wraith. That sigh means he was done with the game too. God, I want spirit to haunt me. Understandable, sir. Have a nice day. Wait, is that the Slime Rancher Man Sour Cake? Oh my god, Sour. You are infamous. <laughs> Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. Look. I don't care why this slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least, not yet. Oh yeah? Not yet. Hey, Eric. You might want to, you know, say something. Man, that is a pose? Hell yeah. Absolutely hell yeah. Actually, uh, never mind. There'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a timed quiz, and it will be very important later on. Oh, fuck. Okay, chat. Sorry. I would love to do polls for these things, but it seems like these questions are going to be rapid fire. So let's see. Very important. Well, not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so there is no timer, at least not at this stage. Mm. Uh, looking at me, I'd say for a tardy grade, I'm sexy as hell. I'd say I'm very attractive. Ah, that's what you think very attractive is compared to this? God damn, dude. Trapper flexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Damn. Um, invisibility? Same. Although, sometimes I think I already am. What was your best subject in school? 
God, is people want to mold my cock an option? God damn. My superpower making mods about. God damn it, y'all. Y'all, you see, this is why I offered that, is I knew you guys would fucking love it. Don't tell me you wouldn't love it, chat. <laughs> History? Nice. It's important to know what came before so that we're not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyway. But still. What's your favorite animal? A bunny. Bunny. What the fuck is a mustelid? Hold up, y'all. Now I gotta Google this one. So you're mustelid. Oh damn! It's a little, it's a little like, it's a little ferret thing. Yeah, cute. But dog. If it's between like otter bitch and a dog, it's gotta be a dog. He's they are very cute, but I do fucking love me a dog. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck, I shouldn't be blushing. What the hell is happening? Hey, chat, what the fuck is happening? What did you do? Did you, Is this your fault? You look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. What's your favorite color? Nobody would expect me to pick this, so I'm going to say three-day-old corpse. That's a pretty edgy answer, right? I'm pretty dangerous. I talk about corpses. No biggie. Ah, uh, fair. I just, I do really like the color black, and so that seemed like the closest option for me. Those are no good for me. Oh, wait, no. Those are no good for me unless they've been frozen. You'd be surprised how quickly good meat can spoil. Or maybe you wouldn't be surprised. I'm still getting to know you. It's called having an awakening. <laughs> What's your dream job? Yeah, chat, I'm sorry. I am, I'm one of these bitches. If we get to do what I want, I want to do nothing at all. It takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations to climb the ladder same hell yeah hell yeah v only she can spin laziness to some kind of grand crusade these damned millennials best flavor of ice cream no question my favorite flavor is play pay oh pain my favorite flavor is pain <laughs> Same. Same here. Hmm. Mine is vanilla, swirled with pain. Oh, damn. Was the third option horse flesh? We don't talk about the third option, Dacing. We, we don't need to talk about that. I think mint chip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself, but... Enough about ice cream, am I right? Man, the idea of being an astronaut sounds cool, but you have to be a genius and a jock. Yeah, they double up on those. Hold on a second. This reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before you go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. I hate mint. I will never pick mint. You could never break me into saying mint is a good flavor. Fuck you. We're teaching lessons now, narrator, you rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island. Even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? The best flavor is chocolate. You've got reading comprehension problem. I just told you mint chip was where it's at. You almost bought yourself a game over there, buddy. 
That's right. I can end your life whenever I want to. I'm in control. So don't you forget it. If I say you like mint chip, you like mint chip. Now try it again. Tell me what's the best flavor of ice cream. Chocolate. In case it wasn't clear who's in charge, it's me. You have to understand it feels very good to end someone else's game. You should try it sometime. Oh damn, really? F fucking bitch? Trying to force me to say mint is good? Absolute ass. No, no, no. I'm gonna have a bite of steak. And we'll see. We'll see if there's a way around this. But Jesus, if they're really gonna make me fucking vouch for mint, I'm gonna be pissed. Mm-hmm. Indeed, an honorable death. Damn. Oh, shit. They gonna... Wow, they send you back pretty far. Okay. Fine. I guess we have to do it, though. So fine, bitch. I guess mint. The worst flavor in the world is the best ice cream. Mint, or what the fuck ever. Eric, you and your pudgy ass are on TV. Yeah, darn ass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> so obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I love the little smile Eric's new model has. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big, dumb idiots. Hi, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like... Most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate. You know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering. And society is carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose to not just take part... Damn, fucking Soviet music begins playing. <laughs> Jeez, it's like she was downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Oh, no, wait. I'm remembering Spirit's story now, and that's almost exactly what happened. Hi, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you da- Okay, Mommy. There's lots of fun to be had on this island. Along with... Lots of love. Uh-oh. Yeah. There is, if you know what I mean. Grow up. Grow a body. I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. 
I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Joker moment? Hell yeah. I say the one with the bunny mask, but I am clearly biased. Also, strunk mommy. Yeah, I know chat. I know chat every day of the week. I uh, know that a muscle mommy will break my chat over her knee before they would ever choose anything else. I still can't get over the fact that she makes getting stabbed by multiple shards of glass look hot. God damn, my guy. You hard up. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Gotta head out, gang. Have a good rest of your subathon, y'all. Hell yeah, kind six. You have a good time yourself. Oh. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely. For the first time ever, I agree with the Wraith. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's do some. Oh, if we're done playing, let's do something else instead. <laughs> wow. For once, I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's a massive boat dock nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. I want to nibble her ear sensually. Oh, sour. Eric gets to show his dim linguistic skills. Fight me, darn ass. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth, the way it's flaunted needlessly, and the cruelty it engenders. What about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, and beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you serious? There's a perfectly good lounge to chill out. Not right here. I'm tired and besides, I hate being in the sun. Oh. Not di okay, not dim linguistic skills. This DM, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm just always ready for chat to be starting to make fun of me for reading something wrong at some point, but I'm fucking going for it. Yeah, what do you think then? Do, do you like my voices? I do get to practice somewhat when I DM, so. <laughs> what do you guys think? Am I doing strong man pretty well? Oh. Mm. Good steak. Good steak right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Where do you want to go? Uh, Huntress, yeah? It, I'm, I'm gonna guess that our one and only option is, is Muscle Mommy, yeah? I mean, I'll let you guys poll, I guess. I guess I can let you poll. But, uh, where are we going? Let's see here. We could go with, uh, Muscle Mommy. Muscle Daddy. Um, I guess, what, what would Wraith be? Wraith, he would be fucking Style Boy? Wink? Hmm.
Yat. Okay. He's a twonk at most. All right, we'll go with twonk then. Style and twonk. Anti-social shine kid. Okay. And then I guess what would what would spirit be? Would she be goth? I think we can go with goth girl. Oh wait. Oh. All right, y'all. One minute on the board. Emo goth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One minute on the board, and I will let y'all spend points. And while you guys are voting, I'm going to have some more food. Hell yeah. He's the virgin cock to Trapper's Chad. Damn. God damn, Day Singh. Tell me what you really think of him. Oh. Um. Mm. Do 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 Oh shit, what's happening? Eric's making Homer. <laughs> Eating the donuts in a treehouse of horror. Aw, uh, damn. Oh, shit. All right, so yacht, beach. So she wanted out of the sun, yeah? Can I save? Hold up. Uh, so this is the yacht. This is Muscle Dad. Is this continuing the game? I think it's... Oh, fuck. I don't know which which she would be. Eric, why did you allow voting with points? For the lulls. Oh, man. It was literally just me for Twonk. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, how'd it go up by 10 in the last half a second? Well, that's okay, y'all. I might be about to fuck up because I'm realizing I don't know... Because he said pool, right? None of these are a pool. This is the goth? All right. It'd be great to relax for a second at the lounge. Oh, that was a lounge. Obviously. To kick up your feet, look out over the ocean, and relax on your own terms. Who would want anything else? Dry, comfortable, enjoying a cool drink on a hot day. It's the best. I mean, what kind of fool? What kind of monster? What kind of mask-wearing psychopath would finally be granted a break from the constant grind of chasing and fighting to get ahead? and choose to exert themselves in, quite frankly, any way whatsoever. Why am I the only one who gets it? It's time to stop living by their rules. I won't do it any longer. Yeah, we should probably give her a second to calm down. Oh, hi there. For just a moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. There are also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and, um, every other job. They're the only help remaining on the island. The place we call Murder Island. Cue dramatic musical flourish. None of the others, um, survived. Can you fuck the help? Oh, god damn, Sean. <clears throat> I 
The interview process, I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Hence why we shall here to four refer to them as survivors. With a capital S. <laughs> These two have worked here a long time. So very long. I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry. Anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to be present with you, with your options whenever possible, and don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. I'm asleep, time zones do be happening, good night. Good night, Mortis Livis. And it's more than time zones be happening. It is uncapped subathon be happening. Hey, narrator? Yes? There's something I can help you with. Those two. Claudette and Dwight. Did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Oh, them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. Seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off the island, though. Oh, right, that. Yes, that's true, he was, but he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway. A couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits. Quite exclusive, where all the... Famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter. <laughs> Mostly. When I agree with them. Not like that other island. So, what'll it be? Oh, did they... Okay, I'll choose again. Same place, yeah? <clears throat> Finally, freedom from the pre preposterous premise. Now the four of us would be engaged in some sort of thrilling two-on-two -two volleyball match. Spirit looks at you from beneath her gigantic sun hat. She takes a conspiratorial tone. I don't know whose idea of volleyball was in the first place, but I hate them. I tried to feign a sprained ankle, but everyone already knows that I technically float above the ground. So nobody believed I was even putting any pressure on my joints in the first place. Then I tried to annoy everyone by not giving a crap. When that didn't work, I tried whining. When that didn't work, I threatened to kill every person on this island. But it turns out I'm not the first to toss those kind of threats around on this island. So, thanks, I guess, for getting it called off. Are we threatening to end each other again? <laughs> now it's Dwight who takes a conspiratorial tone. 
his eyes shifting as he slips into a loud whisper. Please, just make it quick. Is what you'll be saying when we get behind the bar to make you the drink of your dreams. I go to sleep now because sleepy. Stay comfy, everyone. A hey, very fat weeb. Have a good night, my guy. Enjoy your slep. <laughs> Hilarious, right? Right, Dwight? Yeah, yeah, right. So what will you be having? Mm. Oh, a vodka's a pretty good starter. Virgin daiquiri. Shit. Oh, daiquiri? I know it's a virgin daiquiri, but shit. Oh, is it a strawberry daiquiri? Oh, God, fuck me. I'm going for a daiquiri. Like, if they had a straight-up daiquiri, I'd go for a straight daiquiri, but the only option's a virgin daiquiri. Like, I, I gotta go for it. Like, if you're on a beach, you relaxing? God damn, y'all. Oh. Wait, that's not a party drink for people? A daiquiri? Damn. I have been lied to. I didn't come here to party. I'm just trying to make the best of a very strange situation. I don't know. How about a daiquiri? I don't know how to make that. No, don't skip the liquor. I'd take the liquor. Why can't I have a liquored up daiquiri? <laughs> sure you will, kid. Don't mind him. We don't need to soak ourselves in booze just to please someone else's expectations. If you ask me, there's enough spirits here already. What's up, Sean? Oh. Yeah, no, you got you really gotta think about those comments ahead of time. Listen, Sean, I, I believe in your ability to make it quick. Very quick. Boo! Aw, oh, Golden God, what, you not having fun? <laughs> Besides, alcohol just numbs you to the painful realities of the world. I choose to face them head on. You'd never do something like, I don't know, hide from it all behind the world's largest hat or anything. <laughs> I think the boo was for spirits joke. Which I did enjoy. <laughs> Please allow me to ignore any fashion advice from a man wearing a doll's face as a mask. Not a doll's face, jerk. Gonna head out, have fun, everyone. Hey, have fun yourself, D-Class. We fucking going late, so I expect us to slowly lose people all throughout the evening. Since we've fulfilled your requests, it's time to... It's time for you to return the favor. I should have known there was a catch. Icebreaker time! I swear, had I known they'd pull this kind of faux enthusiastic community building crap, I've suggested we attempt to walk to the lowest point of the ocean before I ever set foot near this bar. You don't think it could be kind of fun? A little fun. Never mind, I hate it. This sucks. But it could be fine, or whatever you say. Has anyone seen my hat? I've literally never seen him in a hat. If we must make small talk, I'm at least picking a topic before we end up being forced to some lame improv game that nerds learn at their non-sport after-school activities. That I definitely never did because I'm no nerd. Methinks a certain someone doth protest too much. Sitting here on this beautiful sunny afternoon, warm sand beneath the cool fog beneath my severed feet. The topic I choose is books, novels, comic fiction or non. Reading is the only real escape from an inescapable horror of life. The escape into your own mind. A groan rolls through the crowd. 
Not a lot of readers here, I'd imagine, based on that response. They're much more enthusiastic about drinking. Considering the situation we're in, it seems an appropriate time to ask you. Eric, what's your Desert Island book? The one book you'd bring if you were, well, on an island like this. Oh, and it has to be classic horror for reasons that should be obvious. This means because this is an island of horror villains and also those books are all in the public domain. <laughs> Clever. I like it. Wow, look at that, Eric. We're almost at our normal number of viewers. Oh, you're so nice to me, crazy. Thank you. Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. Hmm. Not actually a huge Frankenstein fan. It's pretty okay. Just not, you know, not my go-to book if I had to pick one. I've never actually read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so I think I have to go with Dracula. Dracula is one classic that's still scary. To be secluded by or seduced by some beautiful stranger, only to learn later on that they're an immortal villain. Makes sense for many people would only stay for six hours. Uh, Jekyll is pronounced, according to the author, as Jekyll. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Dracula also got killed by a cowboy from Montana. Not Montana. Damn. What a nerd. It's downright thrilling. Well, I guess, but I was going to say that despite the deviant behavior of Dracula and the threat of possible danger or even death that he poses, you can't account but get turned on by the liberation from the status quo that he represents oh horny today aren't we sir <laughs> same here so what if some old doctor says he's a bad boy you're supposed to reek like garlic and sleep alone who do they think would buy into that if you're going to be trapped in a nightmare that is undead life eternal, which I know a little something about. You could do a lot worse than great clothes, a castle, and a lover who doesn't take shit from anyone. She's very cute when horny. Most people tend to be, I think. <laughs> the scariest part of Dracula is thinking that no one will ever be quite as interesting to make love to as a vampire. Oh! Uh huh. I, uh. What, what, what were you doing? Uh, it would really suck to be an uggo when you're horny. I, um. Ass! <laughs> Though given my response rate on Grinder, sometimes it feels like it can be. Sorry, I got to. I, I lost track of what I was doing. Sorry. Enough about these old stories that belong to someone else. I think it's time to make up some new stories of our own. Before you know what's going on, Huntress is waving an empty vodka bottle in the air. A devilish twinkle in her half-mask covered eyes. <clears throat> Might I suggest something a little naughty? Let's all get in a circle and spin this bad boy. Oh, fuck. No, not not this motherfucker. No. Great idea. Trickster, isn't it a bit late to introduce a new character? I thought I was the one who gets to make the rules, so... 
I'm not sure who I'm asking. E-boy. Exactly. But I wasn't ready for this. Damn, dude, is that an 8-pack? Shit, this boy rocking an 8-pack. Yeah, no, why is Trickster here? Hey, yo, you guys got Kruger hiding somewhere in the back? Yeah, damn. Mm. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. Oh. It looks like a Twitch streamer. Yeah, that's pretty much what he is. Well, hello. And who is this new fan in the making? Beat it, hack. I don't know. What's the harm inviting one more person to join a circle for our game? He called you a fan. He's a Twitch streamer. Exactly. Oh, I can't stay. I was just saying it's a great idea. While also teasing the secret trickster ending. I've got much better things to do than hang out here. I'm famous. Ah, yeah, he's an influencer. Toodaloo. The rules are simple. First you spin, then you swap spit, and that's it. But let's be clear, this ain't a peep show. We're here for a good time, but in a classy way. All makeouts will happen out of view of the public eye, real and romantic-like. Yes, romance is the goal. So we'll be waiting here in complete silence, trying to listen in and use our imaginations while you make out on the other side of the bar, but not watching. Like adults, romantic, well-adjusted adults. Eric, you're up. <laughs> You grip the bottle in your hand and put your fate in the hands of the empty bottle gods. Minigame consists of two parts on top of pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on the bottom a target that you're going to be pointing at. Well, I think chat already voted for who they're interested in, yeah? <laughs> Well, not technically. Wherever the pointer stops, that's your result. I suppose if it doesn't stop where you want it to, that's a bit like losing, but no one has to know if you don't tell them. Okay, ready to play? Or would you like me to repeat that? Spin the bottle and see who's gonna smooch. Oh, shit. You got Trapper. Wow. Oops. <laughs> you two were meant to be. Psych. You have to actually spend multiple times to get the real result. First, you get three times is your true match. That's how we play hardcore spin the bottle on this here island. Now, get your spin on. Oh, damn, two for Trapper. Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Well, three for Trapper, y'all. I, I tried my best to go for Spirit. I'm sorry. Huntress is your true match. Oh! <laughs> Just this morning, you were waking up on a strange beach, surrounded by strangers with murderous intent. Now, you're looking across a beach towel at Huntress, lust in her eyes, sweat glistening on her skin. Your heart races. You can feel your pulse pounding in your ears. Shell hums to us while she pegs us. Hey, Lotus, glad to see you back, my guy. Huntress takes you by the hand, and you sit face to face at a private section of the bar. I just showed up, but I'm sh I'm sure that's how this works. 
She begins to reach for you, putting her hands on your shoulders. You're sweating, but not in the sexy way she is. You're sweating in the gross way. You'd sweat at an interview for a job you're not even remotely qualified for. You don't know what to do. If you try to lock lips in this state, you might gross her out so completely that she'll never be able to look at you romantically again. What the fuck is happening? Huntress, I... I you... We... I'm sorry, but I can't kiss you right now. What? You're relieved, but also maybe a little hurt. It's not you. Well, well, it is you, but in a good way. I think you're great. Maybe too great. I don't trust easily, and I'm afraid of what it might mean to connect with you so early. Is this hagging? Huntress pagging? God damn it. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think it's the right thing right now. I understand. Amazing. But also understand this. If you tell anyone I got so soft, I'll break you in half, okay? I'll tell them you almost chewed my whole face clean off. Oh, I like that. I'm so down for this. Hell yeah, Lotus. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh. Mm. Wouldn't want anyone dying of starvation. When there's so many more interesting things to die from. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fantasy epic like you'd find on cable. Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat. Well, there's very limited seating directly around you. And, oh great. Terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster. Oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise? Yeah, well, they don't call him Expectedster. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds. And my whole shtick gets a little <clears throat> flustered. Hey there. You're looking good, Eric. Real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously. Their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. Look at this. We can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but it's not. It was completely intentional. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got it? Okay, Dwight and Glaudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side, the rest of them will sit opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends where they're enormous, sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully, with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's meat. 
seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply cannot divulge. My favorite! <laughs> Meat is good. Meat is murder. Which, you'd know, considering that you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? I'm just... I'm just sharing facts. And you need to murder something to eat its meat, so that's, like, technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true! <laughs> okay, enough yapping. Let's eat. Hey, Eric. You thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person on the spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know. When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric. Sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think... I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? It took 12 hours. And we do literally everything on this island. Actually, there's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow. He's right for a change. Because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. First, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. Ugh. You two and your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obvs. The hell it is! Oh. I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop, please. I hate when we fight. Or talk. Or even when we look each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of Azarov. Great. Instead of slicing it, you will club it to a second death. Hey, um... Eric, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but... Hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. I mean... Dinner. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyperbole. They once argued over who had the most effective weapons for 72 hours straight. It doesn't matter which one does it. When they're done, when they're done, they will all take even longer cleaning their weapons, all while explaining the value in maintaining your tools. Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason they're always terrified of tetanus. Oh, why don't you just let me carve up dinner. Just make out already, god damn it. <laughs> Splendid. We'd hate for it to get cold. We hated when it got cold. Here's a machete. Freshly sharpened. A pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. All right. Not bad. Oh, hell yeah, two perfects. That was pretty good. I like to see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Yo, bro, cooking sim poggers! Hell yeah, Golden God. Fucking get it. 
Dinner is finally served. For real. The sounds, especially coming from the masked killers while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be, really be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell, I mean... Come on. We're trying to be mysterious here. You think a mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. <laughs> well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it would be if they just tried to smash through there. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Eric. Number two is... No, number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. Meanwhile, Eric's the one trying to smash something through there. God damn. Damn, Jean. Oh. Sorry, I'm eating mashed potato right now. <laughs> you might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. You see how deep the cuts in my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. Between the food and the behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. <laughs> but even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? <laughs> bird 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 wow you ever see a seagull that big i have it that's incredible anyway what were we talking about lame misdirection yeah she's right eric pretty lame own who you are never comp but no i'd like the burb but it's a big bird didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal and you've been standing in the sun. But... But the seagull... Uh-oh. He just made a lot of good points. I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. <laughs> no, wait, you haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Hmm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh, hey. It's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator. To the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that characterization. But I'll allow it. I brought you here. I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you. Not unless you follow the right path. Or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. 
because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? Oh. This place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Because chat gifted 50 subs. What? Because, because chat. Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Vague. Mysterious. I gotta give it up to this ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. Hold on, I'm back. <laughs> okay. One more piece of advice. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I like. Some of them I did not. It is in your best interest to make more choices that I like. You wake up to find Spirit holding your limp body gingerly, pouring cold water into your mouth. Oh. Damn. Are we... Are we on lap pillow right now? Are we on Spirit lap pillow? Don't you just love the ocean at night? I do. Staring out over the vast darkness of the ocean really validates the feeling inside me that we're all truly insignificant. And the only thing worth pursuing is revenge. I have a question. Do we think the ocean is the entity, aka the, the being that the killer sacrificed people to? Oh yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely it. I have to wonder, how could anyone believe anything else? Or the ocean is like a competing spirit, like same type of thing as the entity. But I think it's something, uh, something similar, you know? But it does, you know, fuck islands instead of kill fields. Well, it's a simple question. How could they? How could anyone not feel small and alone in the face of such massive nothingness? I used to feel that way. Small. Unimportant, alone. But lately, I'm... I'm not so sure. I've started to feel different. I've started to actually think that maybe this island is where I might... meet someone special. You look at Spirit, who has turned from the ocean to look at you while you speak on this topic. She's clearly so passionate about... A friend? Perhaps something more. I don't know what this island has planned for me. Huh. A friend? Friends are just cowards who seek comfort in numbers. I had friends once, back before I was chopped into a bunch of pieces by my father. Friends aren't what's keeping me held together. I'm floating in a cloud of rage. Better throat game is immaculate. Jesus, sour. Ugh, I was so dumb. So busy trying to please everyone and to be a perfect student, the perfect employee, the perfect daughter. I didn't take care of myself. And now I'm all I've got. Worst of all, I got distracted from my true purpose. My destiny. The purpose that was sitting inside me my whole life. Okay, so this might sound a bit silly, but... Spirit looks around to see if there's anyone else on the beach. 
When she's convinced that it's only you two, she continues. There's a dragon that lives inside me. I've always known, but I've tried to ignore it. When I couldn't ignore it, I tried to push it down. I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. That sounds badass. Right? But I didn't let it out, and then I... You know. Chop, chop, and now that dragon is pretty much a one-track revenge beast. A bad dragon? Goddamn, Sean. But enough about me. What's inside you, stranger? No dragon, just fire. A raging inferno. In fact, begging to burn this whole place down if I let it out. Maybe I am the dragon. I'm sorry, but you're no dragon and breathe the fire is some hobbit type nonsense. I'm a descendant of proud samurai. Our dragons are on a whole other level. Looks like there was only room for one dragon inside spirit after all. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up on this strange island. Spirit is a weeb. She studied the blade. <laughs> Only to find that it's Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they're waving the air above their heads. It's very important that we stick to the itinerary and attend each event as scheduled. Playing sick for cute flirt points was not a part of this evening's activities. That's strictly slotted in for after campfire story time. At this rate, we'll be late. She studied the blade. Now show that you studied high-yielding explosives. Hell yeah, crazy. The blade cannot defeat high-yield explosives. No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flirting. Go, go, go. <laughs> Once everyone has gathered at the fire pits, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not going to blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not going to say who, so don't worry, yeah, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means that we're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. Just one story? But story time is my favorite activity. This is a narrative heavy experience. Thanks, Ray. You're telling us only one person gets to share? How will we decide? Oh great, we have to decide as a group. That never goes well. Whoever did this, step up now. I swear I won't be angry. I'll merely chop your head clean off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, you realize this is probably it for you. But embrace your fate. Sorry, everyone. I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I still don't know. I'm don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. Been there before, even though it's taken some pressure off of me, which is an absolute dream. Is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Seriously, has anything here ever happened on schedule, even once? Damn it, Donald! Have you tried to flex that authority gimmick one more time? So help me, I'll snap your head off so quick, then I'll drown you in his blood. Fuss and muss are back on. 
You two know I love to hack, slash, and the slice. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named any names. Who knows? Uh, not us. I, I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. But we still got to get started on story time. So, Eric, who do you think should go? Ah, damn it. That's a name. Please pick somebody quickly so that this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. 